This is News Watch 16. Finally here at 6, it is an autumn chore that many of us just don't like doing, do we? Raking leaves. Can you imagine? <laughs> Mike Stevens found a man along the Pennsylvania Road in Luzerne County who thinks that he has a place to put all of those leaves. The leaves grow out, then fall down, and that means work. But Don McHenry says he's got a way to give those leaves new life. backyard of his home at Town Hill is a prototype model of the leaf log maker, the LLM as he calls it. I, I had an idea how it should be done mm -hmm. and I went from there. All one need do is to drop the leaves into the hopper, turn the power on and the leaf log maker begins to work. It compacts the leaves, packing them tightly into a six inch pipe. Inside the tube, glue is sprayed on. My wife came up with flour and water, and so we use flour and water. A small bulb heats the mass of leaves, drying out the glue and making the log solid. Eventually, there is a leaf log. This size, Don says, has a burn time of about two hours. But if you want to put different flavors into your log, you just put it in the glue, like maple or hickory or whatever you want, so you can have different flavors. The leaf log maker is still in the developmental stages, as they say. Its creator is an industrious, mechanically inclined man who, with some help from his friends, has made form of an idea. Someday you may be able to buy one, thereby ensuring yourself a good supply of heat over the winter while tidying up the backyard. For that, you'll have Don McHenry and friends to thank. Truth be told, I've always thought that as a whole, we're a creative bunch, able to rise to any challenge. Don, I think, is proof of that. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Town Hill. I think he has something there. That is really cool. That really is. Patent pending? Yeah. That's going to do it for the team at six tonight. <laughs> we'll see them at Lowe's and Home Depot in a couple of years, I'm sure. For the team, thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye-bye.